everyone. I hope you have been enjoying the heat and humidity because it's going to be a constant trend for at least the next weekend and into next week. We are looking for the threat of some severe storms as well, which hasn't been into the forecast, at least within the past week. Thankfully, we had a nice break, but currently we are looking at a little bit of sunshine here in Meridian, 90 degrees, but 83 over in Livingston, 87 over in Philadelphia. A lot of scattered showers and thunderstorms are a continuous trend across our area. You can see that, especially in Philadelphia. Here's a look at the live radar though across much of the southeast. You can see very stormy and very isolated storms. You can see that it's very scattered as that's been a continuous trend for much of us here across Mississippi, Alabama, into Georgia and Florida. It's just the Gulf Coast states that are going to be dealing with that. And here at home you can see that there have been a couple showers and thunderstorms, some of which were here in Meridian, but a lot of it is very heavy at times, especially much to the north in the Philadelphia area. So let's zoom in on that storm, stop the radar and see exactly where it's impacting the area. You can see just to the north of Philadelphia, so if you're in downtown Philadelphia, you're not really seeing too much rain, but as you are looking off to the north, I see some scary clouds into the distance as well. It reaches all the way over into the cab, and a lot of us are going to be seeing some heavy storms, and that will continue to move off into the southeast. So let's talk about when the storm systems will be pushing off and when we'll start to see our severe threat for the weekend as well. So we're going to start here seeing 84 degrees here in that meridian time frame as we go back into that 12 a.m. A couple stray isolated showers and thunderstorms, but we'll be watching for uh, mainly clear skies for at least the overnight hours tonight into early morning tomorrow. There's a slight chance for a small shower, but most of us won't see a drop of rain in the early morning hours. As we go on throughout our day, we start to see a slight chance for an isolated shower or thunderstorm. But if you look off towards our northwest, you'll start to see a line of storms forming and it'll continue to push down into our area around 7 to 8 p.m. be at the heaviest around the 9 p.m. time frame. Some of these storms could be packed in a punch just because we are going to be seeing a little bit more heavy rain, especially off into the north. And they are in that level two out of five risk zone. So it's very important that you are watching for these storms, but it looks like the severity is going to die out quite a lot, especially as we head into the overnight hours. Around 6 a.m. on Sunday. Sunday is the day that we are watching for the main threat for some severe storms. We're start, going to start off another copy and paste sort of day, very mild as we head into the afternoon hours. That's where things start to change a whole lot. The timing for the main storms is really going to be from noon to about 8 p.m. with our main threats being damaging winds and large hail. Some of these storms can be severe. The good thing about these storms is they're actually going to cool us off quite a lot. Just make sure you have ways of staying updated because some of them, like I said, can be severe. And as we head into that 10 p.m. time frame, let's just stay fairly nice as well. Here's a kind of just a sum up of what I was talking about for Sunday. You see a lot of us are going to be in that slight risk zone, level 2 out of 5. The main timing is 12 to 8 p.m. Large hail and high winds are going to be the damaging or the main threats with the flash flooding and localized events being a problem as well. That's for Sunday. We're still watching for a threat on Saturday, but our main threat is going to be on Sunday. Here's what we saw today. High of 92, low of 74, about average for this time of year. Nowhere close to 100, and it doesn't look like we're going to reach 100, especially Especially as we look into the next seven days, it looks to be fairly nice. In terms of temperatures, a lot of us sitting in the mid to upper 80s with low 90s still trickling in here and there. We're all eyes on Sunday. We're going to be watching for that. <clears throat> it's still a couple days away, so but as of right now, the model trends are showing more severe storms coming into the afternoon, so we could be uh, bumped up into an enhanced risk, So, but 